Uh, I've just been asked as to what is the difference between using uh, solar energy to make electricity uh, and using solar energy to produce thermal energy or heat energy. In the, uh, the production of electricity, that's a pretty difficult thing. People call that PV. I see here in Hawaii that you've got it uh, in a lot of places and, and you're, uh, you're doing a good job in uh, utilizing that energy. Uh, when, you, when you go through the challenge of uh, producing or making electricity uh, from the energy that comes from the sun, um, things have to be very exact or the, the better that you do your job on installation, the more efficiency that you'll receive from your system. And that involves the, the angle to the sun, um, a whole bunch of other factors. Also what's involved in that is, is that uh, there are certain hours of the day in certain locations that produce more electricity and, and more energy. And so it seems that the, the efficiency is tied to maybe four or five hours during the day. You're getting the maximum uh, that you can get uh, to, produce, uh, uh, to produce electricity. Other issues with uh, making electricity is you have solar panels and you need quite a, quite a number of them. And so you, you have the issue of, do I have enough roof space? Can I put them on the ground? Which of course you can, and that's an intelligent way to approach uh, that and those issues. When it comes to solar thermal energy, it don't care. It flat, it, it, it don't care about angles. Uh, it, it don't care about having uh, the best available light and, and uh, what hour of the day it is. Doesn't care at all. In, in, in 15 minutes of the sunrise, um, a sudden air solar panel will be over 300 degrees uh, inside that panel. And it didn't care whether the angle came from here or it came direct, or it, it just doesn't care. The reason why it doesn't is, is that it absorbs radiation. It doesn't have to process radiation. And so, uh, the difference again of a t-shirt that's black and one that's white, um, it's an absorber. If it has, if sun hits it, it's going to start uh, absorbing that energy and it does it very naturally. Just think about it, if you had a piece of glass and painted it black or anything, uh, it's absorbing uh, energy. It's not only absorbing energy, but we think in terms of, of um, uh, direct sunlight and, and, uh, and, and uh, we think of solar energy uh, as opposed to sunlight. But what it's really absorbing is radiation. And there are all types of different forms and wavelengths of radiation. There's gamma rays, x-rays. All these things are products that come from the sun. And, uh, and certain products uh, produce more energy uh, than others, and therefore uh, we're able to put the mixture of the materials that we coat our, our, our tubes with to absorb energy, so that they're able to absorb uh, low sources of energy. Therefore, if it's cloudy or it's raining, doesn't matter. Uh, we, have, um, we have materials inside that panel that are saying, give me more of that, I'm, I'm all set. I, you know, that's the stuff I like to eat. That's my good stuff. Then, you know, so also, uh, you don't need 18 panels. Um, sun doesn't have any problem with heat or producing heat. I met the minister of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of tourism in, in uh, Fiji and he said he said the other thing I like about the Sun is it never sends me an invoice <laughs> uh, you know and that's the other thing I like about uh, about uh, the solar air conditioner it, it sits in your backyard it sits on your roof uh, you know what are you gonna do tax the Sun 
Uh, you have control of that. It, 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 it belongs to you. And, uh, you know, and it, it's uh, your product and, and one is plenty enough. We, we don't need a very big panel uh, because of the efficiency of, uh, of uh, the ability to absorb uh, those rays. I told you and mentioned that in 15 minutes we're over 300 degrees. Uh, our conventional air conditioning system uses 120. Um, it's a walk in the park when it comes to uh, the efficiency and also the length of the day. It's the same thing. Uh, you know, you're able to absorb that uh, radiation up until 15 minutes of the sun going down. Remember, night you don't you don't have sun, you can't absorb something.